Hey dudes, Duke the Builder here. In this episode of Zig and Death, we're going to be talking about slices. And first off, we have to make a little preparation here because uh, we're going to be uh, performing what's known as a slice operation to obtain a slice. And we're going to be doing that on an array. But what happens is if you uh, do the slice operation using compTime known bounds, like we're doing here, here we're using zero, the literal zero, an array.len, which is also a compTime known because the length of an array is part of its type. So uh, the length is, is also compTime known. Well, then uh, this variable here, array, array putter, is going to be actually a pointer to an array instead of a slice. Okay? So uh, let's uh, demonstrate uh, that here in the output. As you can see, this first line right here, it says array putter. The type is a pointer to an array of six U8s, okay? So even, so even though we are applying what's known as the slicing operation here using this range with the two dots, uh, we're not obtaining a slice uh, because the, the bounds are compTime known, so Zig can turn this into a pointer to an, to an array. But uh, we can overcome this by having uh, then a runtime known value here. We're uh, creating this variable zero. Uh, it's a U size and we are uh, assigning it the literal zero here. And uh, since it's a var, as I mentioned previously in the other video, um, it's going to be basically a runtime known value, this variable. And this will let us in, uh, then uh, obtain a slice instead of a pointer to an array when we do the slicing operations, okay? So uh, in this uh, first example that we're going to see here, we are uh, creating this constant uh, a slice. And we are specifying that the type is slice of u8. When you see the brackets, the, the, the square brackets like this without any length, or anything inside that's a slice okay and specifically it's a slice of u8 and uh, this uh, as as we saw with pointers uh, this variable a slice is const but the slice uh, itself isn't uh, a const if it, if, if, if it uh, were a, a slice of const u8 then you couldn't modify those elements but if it's just a slice of U8, uh, you can modify the elements. It's, it's uh, akin to the pointer uh, to a U8 versus the pointer to a const U8. The same uh, rules apply. And here we are taking the address of array and Zig will coerce that pointer to array into a slice of U8, okay? So, um, here uh, we can demonstrate that we we can use the indexing operation on a slice and we are incrementing here the, the 0th uh, index element of the slice we're incrementing by one uh, which demonstrates that even though the slice itself is const since uh, the, the, the data that it's referring to isn't const uh, which is this array here uh, that, that's declared as var we can modify those elements and here we print out uh, the, the result of that uh, increment let's take a look at that and that would be here this line right here a slice zero the value is one because we incremented it and the length it's telling us that it's six okay because slices uh, like arrays they have the uh, len field that lets us know length um, but uh, the difference is that the length isn't part of the type of a slice. It's runtime. It's a runtime known value. Okay, and basically uh, in Zig, a slice is a data structure composed of a, a multi-item pointer, as we saw in the previous video, uh, and a length. Okay, so the multi-item pointer uh, doesn't uh, include any length information. So that's why we have an extra field which is the len, as we can see here. So it's basically uh, the PDR, the putter, as, as, as many people pronounce it, uh, field has the, the multi-item pointer, 
and the len field has length okay that's pretty that's pretty much it uh, for in terms of how uh, a slice is uh, constructed as a data structure in Zig, but usually uh, you don't have to deal with uh, with these uh, fields directly. You just uh, use uh, the syntax that Zig provides for uh, working with slices. But being a low-level language and and giving you pretty much ultimate uh, flexibility and power when dealing with uh, with memory, um, you can directly manipulate a slice. Okay, if you declare it as a var, um, you can uh, deal with those uh, fields directly, like we're going to do here. Here, b slice dot putter, we are performing some. Uh, pointer arithmetic as, as we saw in the previous video when it's a multi-item pointer in Zig you can do pointer arithmetic so we are uh, incrementing by two that pointer and and this would be by two elements okay and now that we uh, are, are basically changing the pointer in the slice we have to update the length okay because uh, since we're moving uh, that memory address basically by doing pointer arithmetic the length is going to have to change. In this case, we moved up two, uh, two elements, so we have to subtract two from the length. And here we print out uh, the information uh, that we can see. Let's go back here. This would be this line here, um, the B slice. This is the, the, the elements in B slice. They, they go from two to five. Another thing that you can do is that you can slice a slice, okay? You can re-slice, um, if, if you will. Um, and also note that when we specify uh, a type for the slicing operation, uh, we can force a slice to be uh, the, the result. Here we are using um, comp time known bounds, 0 and 3. But even so, since we're specifying that we want uh, the type to be a slice of const u8, um, that will uh, coerce basically the result of this slicing operation to be a slice, okay? And also note that the array, the original array, wasn't const, it was a var, but as with pointers, we can go from uh, non-const to const, that's no problem because it's, it's, it's going in a more restrictive uh, direction. So here we we're specifying that we don't want uh, modifiable uh, elements. We want constants. So uh, this is, is specified as a slice of const u8. And there's no problem here in assigning that to the result from an array that isn't const. OK. Um, let's look at that. that. That's the line that is c slice. Here we go. That's a c slice starting from 0. We incremented that element at 0. That's why it's 1 right here. Okay. And another benefit of using slices versus uh, the situation that you may find in, in languages like C is that you have uh, integrated bounds checking uh, built in out of the box. You get it for free. So if I uh, uncomment this line right here and try to split uh, the screen, try to run this, you see that we uh, get a, a panic, okay? Uh, up till now, most of the errors that we've been seeing in this uh, course have been uh, comp, comp time, compile time errors. Uh, but when you see an error like this one, it's a panic. So this occurs at runtime, okay? So this is a runtime bounds check on the slice. Given that the slice is more of a runtime data structure. So it says panic, index out of bounds, index 10, length is 4. Okay, and it points to exactly where we're trying to go out of bounds in, uh, in, in the code, okay? So, uh, we get that for free with slices, so that's a benefit of using slices. Also, uh, as we saw in the video on pointers, if you recall, there is a thing in Zig known as a, a pointer to an array, which we, in this uh, video, uh, created and assigned uh, to this variable here, array putter. And uh, you can re-slice or basically slice a pointer to an array, as we're doing here. You can use the slicing syntax uh, and obtain a slice from the pointer to an array. So we can see that uh, in the output, it's d-slice, okay? So we are slicing there and we only obtain two elements. 
and there they are so you can use that syntax uh, the slicing uh, operation on pointers to arrays uh, also okay now as with pointers and arrays there is also a version of a slice that's called a sentinel terminated slice okay and uh, like in the case of sentinel terminated pointers we use this uh, special slicing syntax which has the bounds and uh, the colon and the sentinel okay so basically what we're going to obtain is this type that we have here in, in, in the case of the pointer if you remember we had the star here but in the case of the slice there's nothing uh, before the colon it just uh, specifies the sentinel so this is a sentinel terminated slice of u8 and the sentinel is zero okay and we set that up here by setting uh, the index 4 of the original array to zero and uh, here we're precisely specifying that index as uh, the final bound here so um, if we uh, go over here and look at that uh, output we see that that e slice e slice dot len is zero and this is only allowed uh, in sentinel type slices sentinel terminated slices you, that's in, in the only case where you can access uh, that index uh, that's equal to the length okay and it's going to be this precisely the sentinel value okay and finally I want to demonstrate a useful idiom that you can find in zig uh, and it's uh, the case when instead of having an exact index that's going to be the, the the end bound of a slicing operation you only have a length well uh, you can achieve the same thing as the normal slicing operation uh, by uh, doing a slice of a slice here we have the original array and we are slicing it uh, here we're using uh, the start index uh, or another runtime variable with the index of two and that would slice from two onwards all the way to the end to the of the array and then we re-slice that going from the start of that slice to the length okay so uh, the compiler uh, effectively uh, turns this into a single slicing operation it can detect that, that this is what we're trying to do and it'll optimize this so it'll be uh, an efficient uh, slicing operation so then f slice will be in, in effect the slice uh, that, that we wanted to obtain uh, starting out at index 2 and with a length of 4 okay so we can see here effectively here we're starting out with index 2 that had that value 2 um, and here we can even see the 0 that we set when we were um, uh, wor working with the sentinel terminated uh, slice and we go up to 5 uh, so the length is indeed 4 elements okay so uh, basically that's it uh, for slices in zig so um, I hope you find this useful do the builder here. I'll see you in the next one.